Hello, class. Welcome to online genetics this semester. Um, I wanted to just make a quick um, video to sort of go through the syllabus and then kind of orient you on Canvas. Just um, from experience, I found out that you know a lot of times professors are doing things a little bit differently. And so it's good to not just put the stuff on Canvas since this is an asynchronous class and we're not actually going to be meeting face to face. I, I found that it's nice just to put a brief video that sort of gets you um, oriented. So I'm going to be looking, I have a screen up here. So I'm going to be looking, I'm, I'm sharing, I'm sharing that screen. Actually, where I'm pointing, that's the screen um, in 3D real life, right? So I'll be looking up there. Um, but what I want to do is go through uh, the syllabus. Okay, so I'm Dr. Marshall. I'm a bio, I'm a faculty member in the zoology department. Um, here, if you look uh, let's see if you yeah so if you look I'm not sure I think you can see this cursor maybe maybe not so I'll, maybe I'll explain it even if you can't see the cursor um there's my name there's my email most of the communication with me will be through email um, that's the direct email sometimes if you're sending me attachments it's better just to send it through John Marshall at Weaver.edu because sometimes they get stripped away if you send it through um Canvas there's my uh, office phone number. Um, the labs will be asynchronous. The lectures are obviously asynchronous. Um, we're not going to be meeting on Zoom, but I do have um, recorded lectures and online labs that you will be doing. Okay. The rest of this stuff you can just read through. I'm not going to um, spend time talking about that. Uh, as far as your grade evaluation, there's going to be four exams. There's going to be a number of um, labs with I think nine labs with each of them being worth 20 points. These are labs that you can do on your own. Um, you're welcome to get together with other students and do them also um, if you would like. The exams will all be on Canvas. All faculty have had to transition from Kytester to Canvas. So all of the all of the exams will be on Canvas. You can take them at the testing center. Here I have a link to the testing centers where you can go to take them. Or if you set up Proctorio, you can take them um, on Proctorio. Uh, below, I'll go through uh, briefly sort of the schedule of the textbook material that we'll be covering. Um, we follow fairly closely the textbook. Um, I've also uh, have a PowerPoint, um, PowerPoint lectures on, on there. And then I also have videos that where I have recorded in previous face to face classes, and then sometimes just sitting here at the desk, audio that corresponds with the um, let, with with the power with the PowerPoint and then created a YouTube video out of it. So you can use all of those things. Um, the most important is probably the textbook um, at, or sort of the overlap between the textbook and the, and the PowerPoint slides. And then uh, supplemental would be listening to those lectures. Also, uh, with regards to that, you'll you'll see that in the um, in the lectures and the lecture videos, a lot of times I'll be working stuff out on the board. You obviously can't see that, right? But in those situations, I have created um, videos working out those problems separately. And so, for each PowerPoint where you do have problems, there will be a another file with links to YouTube videos that show you the how to work out those problems that uh, we work out in during um, the, the lecture. Okay, so Proctorio Testing Center, in addition to the textbook material, you're going to have readings for each of the for each of the exams that you'll need to read and then um, uh, answer a few questions. I'll have a you know two or three questions from each of the readings or one or two questions from each of the readings on the exams. Okay, so I really encourage you to organize how you're studying. This is a, you know, this is a challenging course. Um, we, we do a lot of quantitative probability kind of things. Um, and so it's really, really important to keep yourself organized. Um, I have uh, put material um, on Canvas that sort of, suggest how I how I would with some suggestions on how, on what, how I would organize my study if I was an undergraduate student taking this taking this course and so I encourage you to go through and look at that there's a guidebook to stem taking notes if 
you know, you're not accustomed to taking a lot of notes. For this class, because it's online asynchronous, it's really important that you get organized and that you really jump into the material um, and, and, and sort of know it well. Okay, that said, another major component of the course is being able to solve problems. So there's sample problems for chapters three, four, five, and seven. These are incorporated into a couple of different labs, um, but a big chunk of this semester will be trying to figure out how to do those problems. I have videos that help to sort of assist you. I encourage you getting together with other students and doing these problems. Um, that I found in the past that that's a really good way for students to um, learn how to do these problems. This is one aspect of the course where we, if you learn the methodology of how, how to figure out, sort of uh, deconstruct these problems and figure it out, it, it's, going to, it's going to serve you well in other aspects, not just genetics, but for a lot of the professional tests that some of you may be taking, the GRE, the MCAT, the LSAT, the DAT. Um, feedback from previous students, had, it usually revolves around like understanding, you know, students that have gone through and figured out how to do these problems, got pretty good at them, and then taking these exams, these sort of entrance, entrance exams have done really well. And so you'll want to carve out a big chunk of time trying to figure out how to do these problems. You don't just want to watch me do them on a video and then think that you can, you know, come into the exam and score well, okay? All right, um, so I'll post help uh, with sometimes, you know, I have a lot of videos, but sometimes a student will email me or, um, you know, get into contact with me and I'll help them out and I'll, and I'll make new videos. So you can, here's a YouTube channel link that, that you can go to and uh, new videos that I post should pop up there too, okay. So here's sort of a pace schedule for the material that we're going to um, be going through. I am also teaching a face-to-face -face class. I have every semester I do this when I'm teaching both face-to-face -face and online, especially when online students are maybe not getting how to do certain problems. I will have them, they, they you know, are invited and, and welcome to come and sit in on the lectures. And so I give you, this is sort of a tentative lecture schedule. Um, and, you know, just, you know, maybe beforehand, or, you know, if you come or at the beginning of class, just come and say, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm tell me I'm, I'm, I'm uh, coming here from the online to participate. So, so that will make you feel welcome and everything. So number of different students do this. It seems to help students that are maybe struggling with certain aspects of it who aren't maybe necessarily really good at reading about problems and being able to do them or watching videos and being able to do them um, or problems or material. And so this is really good for those students. So this is just a tentative schedule for that. Okay, here is a summary of the exam dates. Um, basically in this course, uh, like I said before, on the evaluation part, you're going to be taking four exams and you're going to be doing a number of, of online labs. Um, here are the dates. For the exams, they're open for two or three days, four days usually. Um, since they're open for multiple days, I um, uh, I where put that? I encourage you. Maybe I'll put it up here. Let's see, makeup exams. Oh yeah, up here. Sorry. So so I um, have a, a pretty strict rule on makeup exams. So if you if you miss because they're open for several days. Um, if you miss an exam, um, you, you, you will need to have an, an official excuse, like a, a medical note from the doctor, um, program from a funeral, or if it's a, a university excused one, then we can accommodate that. If you're an athlete and you know you're going to be traveling, get a hold of me ahead of time so, so that we can make arrangements. Or if you know, you have some, I'm usually, I'm usually pretty flexible with students if they let me know ahead of time, you know, that something's come up or whatever, you know, I, sometimes I can open up the exam earlier or whatever, just come in, just don't not take it and then come to me after and say, well, you know, the dog got sick or something, you know, I want to know, I want, I want to know these things ahead of time. And, and because of that, I strongly encourage you not to wait till the last day to take the exam. If you just forget about that last day, 
and then when your dog you know eats all of your notes um or has to go and then has to go to the vet on the last day you know you're not going to be calling me after the uh, the exam uh, closes okay so um the online labs uh these are all ones that you can do by yourself or you're welcome to do it with friends in groups um you will find those on canvas under the files tabs and then you go to the labs tabs and then each individual lab will have its own material and so you can go there um, and check that out they are also listed in the assignments so maybe that's a good transition to look at canvas okay so here's canvas i've clicked the student view. So hopefully I'm seeing what you all will see here. Uh, I'll just I'll just explain a couple of the places that you can go. The home page. This home page will have also uh, after I finish this video, I'll have a link to this video on the home page. I'll also send it out as a as an uh, announcement. So when I send out announcements, um, oh no, be with regards to announcements. A lot of times things come up in the semester, and since we're not meeting, you don't have a chance for you know to talk to other students, say, oh yeah, did you hear that we're doing this or whatever, or talk to me. And so you wanna make sure that you uh, check your email because sometimes when I when I put announcements, it'll send an alert to your email or look under the announcements for, for new um, announcements and things like that. Okay, so here, let's go to the syllabus link. So here, if you click syllabus, you here have a link to a the digital copy of the syllabus that we just looked at. And, and in addition to that, you have a course summary with your different assignments and the due dates of those assignments, right? So here you have lab one, mitosis, lab two, uh, Drosophila genetics. Um, oh, I guess switch this order. So lab three, oh, and I'll do that. So lab three will be exam problems though that that lab is always due after the exam because I want you to use those lab those problems you know maybe you'll be using them for um, your study to help you study for the exam um, then lab four epistasis in yeah let's see epistasis in, in maze um, yeah the dude the date I'll get those so for some reason the due dates are a little work. Anyway, so you can kind of come through all of here and, and it'll show you um, what the different assignments are. If you want to go directly to the assignments, you just click here on the assignments, right? And here you have, um, here you have uh, the different assignments. Let's just click here on lab one. On lab one, it tells you, okay, go to the files. Here's the files and then click on labs and then lab one. So let's just go through and see what that looks like. So you click here on files. You would then go down to the labs file. Under the labs file, you go lab one, mitosis. And here you have a worksheet and then you have a instruction seat sheet for the lab. And so here, this is the instruction seat. This is the instruction sheet that's gonna Tell you how you're gonna what the equip the stuff that you need the, and the materials you need to go and extract some DNA at home from some strawberries. Okay. And throughout here you see Q1, Q2, Q4, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. You will then fill in those answers in your worksheet and then upload it on in the assignments here. Okay. So that's uh fairly straightforward. The other thing that I want um you to pay particular attention to because I know a lot of faculty don't do this necessarily organize it this way. Here under the files, if you're wanting to look at the materials that you're going to need to study for exam one, you just come here to the exam one materials uh, 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 folder. Under here you have, so for instance here, you have the exam one PowerPoints. Here's PowerPoint to chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. So you can download those and compare the PowerPoint material to your um, the, the chapter one. When you do that, you can maybe cross out some things in chapter one that we don't necessarily talk about in the PowerPoints, and then you don't have to worry about studying that for the exam. Um, here also with, with regards to exam one, not with all the exams, but I've also done PDFs of the chapters just because I know uh, 
sometimes it takes a little while for people to um, get their textbooks. With regards to the textbooks, um, there's a lot of different ones out. I mean, there's a lot of different um, editions out there. Just a recent edition is fine. Um, I'm cognizant of students trying to save money, so I'm not too worried about getting the latest, most expensive um, edition. Okay, here is are the exam one readings. So for instance, the two papers about DNA editing um, uh, and kind of CRISPR stuff that you need to know are there in, um, in that file. Okay, the other, the other uh, part uh, that, I, that I want you to pay attention to is here, the lecture problems. And so like I mentioned before, in chapter three, we start doing, we start doing quantitative problems. Here are links. YouTube links, it pops up here. YouTube links to the different to the different problems that we do um, in the chapter. Okay, going back to the let's see, let's go back to the files. Under the main files, you also have the labs, right? I showed you, I showed you the, the labs. You also have uh, I mentioned before that note taking and studying. So that's just some some suggestions to the note taking and studying. I mentioned you could use different um, editions of the book, but for the assigned problems, I want you to uh, look at this because sometimes they change from one edition to the next, they'll, they'll, they'll change um, the assigned problems. And so uh, I would go, if I put these in here so everybody could be doing the same problems. So the assigned problems come from, and I think it's the fifth edition is what I did it from. Maybe, maybe it's the sixth. I can't remember. But you know, that has, oh, that has, that has the whole chapter. That's one of the first ones. So you go through here, and here are the problems at the back of the book. So you can go, go through and look at those. Let's look at the later one just because that, yeah, just that it just, that it just have the problems. So here, this should just not have a whole chapter, just the problems. So um, go through, look, look at the assigned problems, um, and then just make sure in your own book uh, they're, they're the same, or you can just use these um, for the problems. Because a lot of times you'll be doing, here, like here, the question of the problems, you'll be doing the odd number of ones. Okay, so I wanted, to, I wanted to put that up there for you. All right, under the files again, under just the, the, main, the main folder, main files folder, this is an important one. This is uh, the link to the lectures that you can listen to. The only thing that I would strongly suggest with this one, and I know, even though I'm strongly suggesting that students still are maybe not going to do it, but don't just watch these videos and then think you can kind of take the, the uh, exam, okay? This is just supplemental. It's more important that you're reading the textbook um, and making notes of the textbook and doing the problems and then coming to these lectures if you're say you're traveling on the train or whatever and then listening to the audio lectures don't start here for sure start by reading the chapter by looking at what material is it there where there's overlap of material between the powerpoints uh the powerpoint files and chapter read it start making notes and then come back and listen to the lectures don't start here having said that here are links to all of the different lectures of the chapters that we will be um, that will be a part of this semester okay i believe that's all of the canvas quizzes are here as well as in the assignments and so it has the due dates and and things like that all right so i believe that's it so uh, just if you have any questions, make sure that you email me. Um, if it's a complicated question, we can set up a Zoom meeting. Good luck on this semester. This is a difficult class. Um, it's a difficult class for face-to-face -face students. It's a difficult class for online students. Sometimes people struggle a little bit more um, keeping pace in online asynchronous courses. So that would be the last thing that I would really encourage you to do is discipline yourself get a planner out, make sure that you have all of these things um, in your planner and start right away trying to tackle some of this material. All right, good luck and we'll, uh, let's have a great semester.